What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and we are back today for some more Lords of the Fallen, which I'm super excited about. You guys have been loving these streams, so I'm, I'm so excited because I did it. I thought it was going to be fun. I didn't know how you guys were going to react to it, and you guys ended up really, really loving it. So very, very happy about that. Uh, so we're just booting it up here. I had to hard reset everything because I have not been on this console in a little bit. Um... But I wanted to get everything ready here as we hop into it. I just finished up with work. And I figured we would get to it right away. Hey, Krim. Nice to see you. And no worries. Uh, I appreciate you being here now. It's okay. I can't remember uh, exactly what had happened last week with the, with the stream itself. Like, I don't think there was anything too crazy. Um update wise gameplay wise what you missed is we had beaten the boss that we were fighting against and uh we beat like a whole two other areas there was actually a lot of content we went by and we got to a boss called the infantry infiltrator excuse me at the end of the last stream and we haven't really fought him yet we fought him i think like between five and ten times but uh a lot of it was was pretty quick i haven't had a good fight with them just yet so i am excited for today i think we're gonna have a fun stream we did get some cool armor upgrades and adjustments so we're looking we're looking mighty fine right now and yeah we still have the same quick roll hey grandma nice to see you thanks for coming to the stream Come on, big guy. I don't have time for you right now. Thanks. Yeah, I really like this armor. We, do, we did actually, like, a lot. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't have, like, anything big that happened. We just did, we beat a lot of areas, but we got to this boss now. And, uh, whew. It's been a week, so I kind of forget already exactly what he does. I don't have a ton of experience with him. All I know is that he attacks a lot. He doesn't have a ton of downtime. And I'm trying to figure out the good, the good blend of attacking him and not getting attacked. Because the timing in this game is quite different. Um... So I feel like staying like right in front of him is typically quite dangerous, but he turns as as we attack, as we fight him. So we can't just like roll to his side and attack him. Yes, yes, that's actually my grandma. <laughs> Did you think I, I you think I was making that up? <laughs> that's funny. Um, nope, that actually is my grandmother. I, uh, I, you know, I always send out, I send out a notification, like the, the, the Twitch notification to the Discord, and then also, uh, I know they follow, they, they wait for the, the, uh, little notification, so it's really kind, and thank you, it is really neat, I appreciate it a lot, and, uh, yeah, it, hel it helps a lot, and it means a lot. I do find it funny. The reason I'm mainly laughing at that, Krim, is because you're not the first person to ask that. Uh, I've said that before, and I know at least David has asked that. And, uh, yeah. Everyone seems to think I'm lying about that, <laughs> but I'm not. I'm completely serious. No, you're good. I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't laughing at you for that. I just thought it was funny that I've been asked that before. Everyone thinks I'm I'm making that up. All right, so this boss, uh, we were able to get to the second phase already in the few attempts that we did last stream. But the real problem is we keep just losing health, too much health too fast. I don't have enough replenishment. So really, I need to focus on trying to survive a little bit longer. We can do the damage, no problem. And we definitely, we definitely can beat this boss, I'm 100% certain. But I have to be a little bit more careful to try and dodge a little bit more.
It is funny. I'm. <laughs> I always laugh at it every time. Hey, David. Thanks for coming in, buddy. David, I was actually just telling Krim. Sorry if I'm yelling. This this game's actually really loud this time. I need to turn my headset down. I was just telling Krim that uh, I remember when you had first seen my grandma on the stream. You were like, "Is that really your grandma?" And uh, it was cracking me up because Krim just said the same thing. <laughs> and I was like, "You guys not trust me?" This guy, this game's coming out has a shaky camera as an artistic choice. Yeah, it's. I mean. The thing is that it's because he's so heavy. Like, a lot of the enemies, the heavier enemies have that in this game. Oh, all right. All right. We succumbed to death that time, but that was pretty good. Second try, we already got to the second phase again. So those little things on the ground, they actually stick you. It's like a... Like little hands come up and grab you. Oh, I'm running the wrong way. But yeah, we were just laughing about that, David. So I'm glad you came in and and uh, thanks for coming by. Appreciate all you guys that are here. Thank you. The um another thing about the game, Krim, in terms of the the shaky camera. Any time that you perform a heavy attack. It does way more than your regular attack, so there's just a lot of camera shake. They <laughs> they like their camera shake in this game. And yeah, he stun comboed the heck out of me. We, uh... I'm trying to struggle... Uh, I'm kind of struggling to get into the groove of when to dodge his attacks. I'm sure I've said it enough and you guys are tired of hearing it, but the dodging in this game is more realistic. It's a lot slower. And you kind of have to, like, do it preemptively. But then it makes it a much bigger pain to actually dodge. Oh. I see you have pants. Oh, we do have pants, don't we? I actually did not... We did that last stream, and no one called me out for it, and I just didn't even remember. I will remove them if requested. Don't get me wrong. I am not a heathen. All right. Listen. Listen, infiltrator. I'm going to need you to let me dodge some more of your attacks. Very important. Oh, there is one thing I'm forgetting. I should be using this. What? Oh, hold up. I have to remember how to do it. There we go. This is a solid 38 every time. I gotta get in the zone. Let's see if we can uh, remedy that situation, David. That's a good call. See, I think, you know what? I'm being honest. I think this is why I didn't notice it. I just have boots on, not really pants. Um, so I have this equipped, right? Yeah, see, the problem is... Oh, wait. Those, those are gauntlets. Uh, gauntlets. So... The problem is, it goes down to my knee. I mean, I'll take them off if you want. I think it's really the chest plate is uh, is what's acting as the pants in this scenario. No, I just, I, I actually cannot physically remove my pants. So, that is like a genuine unfortunate, unfortunate moment in gaming history. A total bra moment, if you will. Your guy does a funny dizzy motion when hit with a projectile. He really does. The dizzy thing is a little silly entirely. <laughs> uh, the first time I saw that, I found it pretty enjoyable. It is a 0 out of 10 game. The fact that we can't remove pants really does just kind of ruin it for me. I gotta be honest. Alright. So, I trust you guys. Krim, David, you guys are typically good luck. So, I'm sure we're gonna beat this guy. I have to... Figure out, I feel like I'm dodging incorrectly for this boss. Like, typically with bosses, I love to dodge and get to the butt and attack the butt. 
man. You guys know that. I think because this guy can, like, actually move so much and rotate so quickly, that might be the wrong way to go about it. Because I can roll under his legs, and, like, I like attacking his legs, but maybe I just need to do one attack at a time. Focus on one attack and then dodge. Two attacks... Okay, two attacks might be okay. See, the problem is, like, dodging two consecutive attacks from this man is... I don't know if I can actually do it. Like, I think I'm too slow. Even when I dodge right away, I usually get hit by one. Okay. Alright. So that worked. But I mean... Alright, hold up. I might be figuring something out here. I might just be too close to him. I need to just... Oh, hold on. I think we got it, guys. Alright, that time I was too close still, but I think I got it. I think I know the strat, ladies and gents. Sacrilege, right? It really is. It really absolutely is. Oh, that is not what I expect you to do, my friend. Oh, I don't have enough magic. My bad. I forgot that I actually had something to do with my magic counter. Because in this game, the magic regenerates. So I do get it back. Without having, like, any points into magic. But, uh, I do have to wait. Okay, he is literally healing from that. That is not good. Oh, no. Alright, so these things... Those things that were making me... Like, those things that were kind of holding me hostage... They seem to heal him. That's not good. I wish that wasn't the case. Oh. Wish that wasn't the case. Woo! <laughs> okay. So he fights a little bit different in this in this form. Yeah, I agree. Showing the breakpoint so you know when you go to different phases of a boss is pretty cool. Pretty useful. Um, a while ago, I heard someone describe the combat of Souls as animation-based combat, and I really, I really that description. Does Krim like it? Do they hate it? Which one? I really that description. Guys, which one is it? Which one is it? Really like it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. Kept me on my toes. Um, yeah. I would say it is, like, that's a pretty good way to think of it. Oh, he really did that right away? I thought you were going to jump on me, bro. I'm sorry. I think that's a good way to think of it. I never really thought of it that way before, but I can see that. All right. I need to get in the groove, get my distance right again, but... Take two hits, and then back away. And dodge to the right, and then two hits, and then back away. And dodge to the right, then two hits, and back away. Alright, we got it, fellas. We got it down. So this first phase, we figured it out. I didn't know you could break the armor off the leg. Oh, that was nice. But now it's like weaker. Oh, it takes a lot more damage. Wow. Okay. Oh, I screwed it up because I was so excited about this. I wonder if it's still weaker in this phase. I bet it is. 
Oh, so this is the same attack, isn't it? So we can do the same attack sometimes. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, no, wait. He's going to go heal, right? Is that what's going on here? Yes, it is. What if I attack this, though? Yeah, this does way more damage than he's healing, so... You know what? Keep healing. You just stay there. I'll take I'll take good care of you, Infiltrator. You just keep healing, buddy. Okay, I think he's done. I need to get out of get out of the groin region there. All right, let's do one attack that time. Oh, that's different. Oh, I screwed up my timing now, but here, let's get these hits in while we're here. All right, we're kind of all messed up now. See if we can make a recovery. Nope. All right, let's heal. Let's do the safe heal instead of attack. I don't know what that is that you're doing. I don't I don't like what I'm seeing though. I can tell you that much. Okay, that's what I like to see right there. That's the strat I like to see. I wanted to hit your leg. All right. All right, there's all these sticky guys around though. Woo! Heal. Oh, I don't have enough magic yet. Hold up. I don't want to step on the sticky. No, what? Excuse me. That is not what was discussed. Alright, I think we can just kill him here. I know it's a little greedy, but I'm pretty sure we can just kill him right here. Yep. Boom, baby. That's right, give me your leg. Yeah, who's that? The penitent? I love how brutal this is every time. <laughs> That's what it's like, like, observ- or, uh, not observing. Uh, absorbing. Sorry. Their, their essence, not even their soul, it's like their power that you're taking. Uh... All right, I gotta go AFK for a bit. The kitten has woken up and demands play. I respect that, so no worries. Thanks for coming in, though. Animation's really the most important aspect of the design and mechanics. Observing animations of your enemies and choosing your actions wisely based on the animation qualifies, like speed, distance, and hitbox. You're absolutely right. I never thought of it that way. That is a brilliant way to think of it. And you know what's funny? You do learn it like a skill, just like anything else. Because I was so bad at reading the animations in games before Souls. Not that I'm, like, bright now. But I'm way better than where I was. So I can absolutely appreciate that. Well, we beat the Infiltrator. And that ended up being easier than expected. I did not realize he had... He had only a few attacks. So we could really abuse those patterns. I also didn't realize you could break his armor off. That was a nice touch. So you were just sitting here watching me. Mm -hmm. I have to admit, that was impressive. It really was. Lots of training. Sure. And taking care of that guy for you was just easy peasy. Yeah. I would have managed. Well, to the victor goes the spoils. So I'll take this as a souvenir. What are you going to do with all those what did stone you do? tablets? You have way too many. Let me help you out. What What did you do to assist me? What do you mean, to the victor goes the spoils, so I'll take this, this as a souvenir? You weren't... You're not the victor. I am the victor, all right? It's the hero of Unreal. Thanks, Fi. I just saw that. It's late. It just, for some reason, I just saw it. Um, thank you. I appreciate you coming in and, and coming to the stream. Uh, she was just chilling. Yeah, she was. Like, but how's she gonna claim? See, the thing is, I know I shouldn't give it to her because, like, it belongs to me, but I think I'm gonna give it to her. I want her to become my companion for later maybe she can actually help me fight instead of just sit there on the sidelines i'm gonna say here you go here you go pleasure doing business with you so long and watch out for snakes there was no business to be done i killed the boss i got the reward and i had just given it to you she actually did give me shards though so i take back what i said a little bit i still don't understand cool. My headset is really loud. Hold on. Cook, not kill, rock. Okay. 
Give me a good reason why I should have killed you right now. Hilka Reward! Me! You! Click! Yeah, the dialogue mocap is funny. Hey, Raiden. What's up, buddy? Hey, I'm Sean Broski. <laughs> Sean Broski fan and Sean. What's up? Everything been swell? Uh, yeah, everything's been good. I, uh, I'm a little tired today, but things are good. We just beat Infiltrator. So I'm feeling pretty satisfied. I think we're, we're on a good track here. Uh, all right. I mean, I'll take a reward from him. I'm not... You know, he hasn't really done anything wrong. I don't know why our guy wants to kill him so a much. Reward for what? Go on. Click. Ooh, skull. Click. Human skull. Rohat reward. Okay. What need of you for human skulls? Make potion crack. Pain or it stop. <laughs> okay. Try. Give crack shield. Crack room spell on shield. Crack real. Fifteen skull room. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. The Sean the Broski fam. And Sean, what's up? Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming in, Raiden. Nice to see you, my friend. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll see what's up. Let's, uh... It said here's a skull. Do we have one? I'll give it to him. I don't care. I have some right here. Yeah, take him. Oh, thank you for the XP. That is very nice. And he gave me a shield. Alright. Strange signs in an ancient language. Same. I'm also tired. Missed my morning class. Ever had those days when you wake up on time and magically goes off without even knowing you did it? Now you're in a tough spot. Yes, absolutely. I have done that. Um. It has happened several times. I had a friend in college who had woken up and his friend went to pick him up. They carpooled and he was like, okay, I got to go back in. I forget exactly what happened. He forgot his backpack or his laptop or something or his charger probably. And he went back in and he fell asleep. And he was late. The, the guy, the other guy came in <laughs> and, and, and left without him and went to school. So cool. it happens. It'd be like that. Cool. Oh, yeah. That's true. All the, all the weak. I'm too weak. Or I don't have enough dexterity to wield. And then you, uh, oh. Sorry, I didn't even cut myself off. This is where we were at earlier, where we actually discovered everything. And we were like, oh, I wonder how to get through that door. Well, now we know. Cool. cool. But yeah, the, the cool animations when you're too weak or cool. your character's not leveled up enough. I respect that. Any extra details like that in games, I always love. I think most people do. Just because it's so nice to have those, those little extra things. Silly things like idle animations, I always love them, too. Yeah, yeah, Dark Souls 1. That's the one I'm most familiar with because that was the one that I did the most on my own. And uh, I, I certainly remember that. These are challenge gates. I'm happy to do them, but I think we're going to do them later. This game doesn't seem to have any missable achievements, unlike the Souls games. And so I would like to... It's more like open world at the end, I guess. Uh, or at least in one way or another, you can return to them. So I'm going to return to them a little bit later and make our lives easier. Let's go ahead and save this and, and do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and level up, too, while we're here. We're going to get a solid three levels out of this, which is pretty nice. And now, okay, so we can upgrade Endurance to hold heavier gear, but we don't really need that right now. Uh, I don't have any heavier gear at the moment. We can also upgrade our strength, of course, and health. So let's do, we have three levels. Let's do maybe two strength, one health, I think. And then as for the spells, uh, right, so for the spells, we can, 
Okay, we need to upgrade our faith to get another one. And I don't upgrade that very often. So it's at 8. We need to get it to 12 to use another one. All right. So we're good where we're at. Uh, I'm back. What I miss? And Crim says hi. Hey, Fi. Uh, we beat the boss we were on, the infiltrator. And now we need to, I don't know exactly, traverse through catacombs and look for Antanas in the Citadel. I don't really know where we're at. I have to be completely honest with you. So uh, this is going the wrong way. Well, maybe it's going the wrong way. I'm not sure. Because we beat the infiltrator and we unlocked a little area, but then it just leads to a shortcut back to where we started before this stream. So now I'm wondering if I can enter like through here. Because this place is called the portal. Can I jump in here? It appears not. We did beat the boss. <laughs> Krim, ye. We did beat the boss. Um, I say I did. We did. We beat the boss. I don't exactly know where to go just yet. So I'm just exploring a little bit. We traded some human skulls for some <laughs> shield to this guy right here. And then we unlocked a shortcut here to a place we were at in the last stream. And now, oh, I just didn't see this last time. I'm sorry. This is probably where we're supposed to go. Uh, this is blocked by something. Really just ought to knock that off, buddy, okay? <laughs> it was such a gentle kick. Oh, this is the one where he's got a totem. His totem's here, and he's invincible until you destroy the totem. Yeah, destroy the totem, take the tyrant heart, and then he gets his health back, and you can kill him again. There we go. That's handled. Let's go ahead and open this door. What's up? Uh, been wanting oh. to hang around your Discord more and do game Quick, stuff, but I'm distracted by learning StarCraft. Hey, no worries. I'm always, oh. always grateful to have He's you, buddy, heavy. but you do you, you know what I mean? Leave and me. nothing wrong with... A little bit of enjoyment, a little bit of StarCraft. What are you I can doing respect here? that. We saw this shining door while running from the Rogar, so we jumped in. True. Could there be I anything worse? We can't get back now. And the captain? He'll never forgive us. We're trapped. Ran away. Cowards, and you escaped. We're going to say you escaped, okay? I know he's all trying to hearken over here. He's trying to be all scary and all mean, but nah. You escaped this place? You escaped the Rogar and came here. And how on earth could we know where it would take us? Oh, oh, question. You plan on playing AC6, Sean? Uh, Armored Core 6, right? I, I kept thinking Assassin's Creed. I'm like, there's no way that's what he's asking. I haven't played any of the Armored Core, but I know it's from the people that make Dark Souls. It's from, from software. You guys taught me that. I'd never heard of it before. So the answer, yes, I'd love to. I actually am very interested in playing. I'm so far back on my backlog. So let me uh, let me finish this conversation real quick so we can start running around. I'll kind of tell you what I got planned because I got a lot planned as far as the, stream, the streaming goes in... Uh, from like now to December, I have pretty big plans for what I'd like to get done so that we can actually knock out some games for a change. Um, let's say, well, we'll just you go through. We can't stay here. Well, we were on our way to the tower by the bridge, the one on the right. We thought we'd hide there, but there's a powerful demon guarding it. Sounds like a job for me. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You 
returned. Did you clear the way? No, I haven't left. I want to see what, what happened, happened to him. him. This place is swarming with monsters. They got it bad. If he doesn't get any medicine, he's done for. Please, you must have a spare potion. Sure. There. I got plenty. Did the job for now. I got plenty. All right. Yeah, I think, it, yeah, you might have been the one that told me about it, but I know David and Chris and Ryan had also said it at one point, and uh, I was like, yeah, I didn't even know that they existed. So this is really the first. I have seen quite a bit of advertisement for this one, but I have not seen anything before this point about Armored Core. So before you guys told me, I think it was the first time I had heard of it. Okay, so yes, that's we're in the same spot we were before. All right, let's talk about the stream schedule for a little bit. Let's uh, kill this guy real quick. So, uh, I have a lot of things I want to stream. Pretty recent, you know, like uh, that are pretty new, pretty recent. And of course, time-wise, I struggle with time, but not. It's not just me being poor with time management. There, there are a lot of things that I do and then a lot of times I don't always feel up to it so it makes it a little bit harder but what I would like to do is I want to stream at least some of the Toho games because I told you guys I would but on top of that I am actually interested you guys keep showing me different games from them uh Krim I know you had joined early on in one of the one of the streams that we were doing but even before that point it had been recommended to me before and I just never really gave it any thought uh, I didn't know much about it either I had heard of it before but I didn't really know what it was and I had bought uh, Luna Knights right I think that's the name of it <laughs> without knowing it was related to that at all I just liked what I saw so I have that one and that's one I want to play I'm like very big on wanting to play because I haven't played it yet and it's close to like a Castlevania style game, which I absolutely love. But I also love the doing these time before soul the space streams. between dimensions tore apart. Threads of energy collide in time and space. Strong ones form links between dimensions. Most rifts are just inaccessible sources of energy, but others are tears. They become the pathways. Some appear like a whirlwind, like a storm that only a lunatic would enter. I'm the lunatic. I have not traveled through a pathway myself. But some say that when you do, it changes. Um, David says, yeah, I've heard it's really good, but also really, really hard. Okay. All right, so that makes sense coming from FromSoft. But uh, are the other Armored Core games really hard, or did they step it up after making more of the Souls games? They were like, yeah, we want to be... We want to make our game, our games in general, harder. <laughs> I don't know. All right, we're going to go there in a second. I'm curious about that. Let's come back here. So this is where we were before, but we actually are able to open that door. So what happened was we opened this gate that was locked before. So that's good. That was worth our time. I'm gonna grab this lore here as well. Oh, it's ancient plate quest item, okay. Uh, open the door by putting your runes in the slot. See, I don't know if it's going to, if they'll stay if I die. So I'm most likely going to die here, one way or another. Oh, certainly going to die here. I did not realize you all were here for the welcome party. Uh. I need to see if there's like, if I can get one of my little save areas. I don't really want to get killed here. I guess it's not far from that one, huh? Let's go, let's go back here and let's use this one then. See, I'm torn. There's gotta be a closer one. Uh, it came out pretty soon after Elden Ring. It did, it was very soon after. I mean, they must've been working on it uh, either between or split team, as I'm guessing, but still. First thing I ever saw from you was your Saku stream. Yeah, that was a good one. 
Uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I did that one. Because uh, that opened me up to a lot more. And now we're working on common flowers and everything. So, glad that I, I took the opportunity to do that one. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so see, it has been quite some time, I'm guessing. <laughs> Too easy. Okay, so maybe... Maybe they're used to having hard games for Armored Core as well. Uh, anyway, alright, so to continue with what I was saying, I have plans. So I want to beat Lords of the Fallen, which I hear this game is quite short. When I was researching it before playing it, I found out that it usually only takes about 12 to 24 hours on the first playthrough, depending on skill. And, uh,. Yeah, we go for more of a completionist run, too, so there's a good chance it'll take us on the, the longer side, but I think we will have no problem. At least I got the rune, but I succumbed to the fire damage. <laughs> I think we'll have no problem beating it relatively quickly. Uh, I had the Bloodborne DLC to do. I haven't forgotten. I did forget for a little bit, but Krim reminded me, and now I've remembered since then. Uh, so we have the Bloodborne DLC secret. Lies of P, right? Is that what it is? Lies of P, I think is a game coming out that is supposed to be very similar to a Soulsborne. I would very much like to play that. It's on Game Pass, so I haven't been buying almost any games lately. I've been trying to play down my uh, my backlog a little bit. But uh, it's on Game Pass, so I will have access to it. And so I'm debating hopping on that as soon as it comes out. So Lords of the Fallen, then Lies of P. After that, we have, um, we could either do Lords of the Fallen 2, because there is a second one of this game, and, or, uh, or Neo, or pretty much the only other suggestions I have for Souls games. I have the remainder of Lords of Fallen and Neo. Not saying there aren't others, I'm sure there are lots, but those are the ones that I've heard about that I know about that I have planned to do. So, we basically have this. Bloodborne DLC, other Lords of the Fallen game, Neo, and Lies of Pete. Those are just the Souls games, which will probably still just be on Wednesdays. But I want to start doing more of the Toho stuff, and maybe even just additional stuff in general, because I love these games, but I also love other games, and I want to play them too. And there are certain types of games that I just genuinely enjoy way more as a community. When I'm playing them with you guys like this now, it's way more enjoyable for me than when I'm not playing them with you guys. And that doesn't go for every game. There are games where I talk a lot during these streams. And because that's what I like. When If I'm watching someone play something, I want to be really engaged with them. Not saying everyone's the same, not saying you guys have to feel that way. That's how I feel, like that's what I always am going for. But I talk a lot, and so I typically try to stay away from games that have a lot of dialogue in them, unless I'm going to be reading every line, in which case that's fine, because that's part of it. Is this what you were looking for? No. You see, it was looking for me. Okay, we found and this. now, it's found me. We Will found this. me travel dimensions? No. But it will let me. Should you need any runes crafted, I'll be there for you. Alright, let's craft because we have some stuff. I'm not sure if it benefits us at all to actually not have them crafted. Uh, I've already done this. Like, why am I in this, like, tutorial section? Come on. Uh... Ooh, flawless power rune. That sounded pretty good. I say open them all. Oh, I want to equip some, actually. We meet again. So we do. Uh, I'm still debating with myself whether to say for Toho 1 or Toho 6 after Luna Nights. Sure, I, I can understand that. There are a lot of different options we have, and I am open. I am pretty open. I know I'm a little slow, because I don't stream every weekend and all. I, I totally get that, but I'm open. Don't get the wrong idea. 
So this is pretty darn good. This flawless power rune that we got. We definitely want to put that on something. I've got an empty socket in the helmet. So guess where you're going, baby? Let's go. Because this is a sweet helmet, too. All right, so we gave that back. That wasn't our main objective, but he did ask us to do that. So I am glad that we were able to do that. I forgot until I had seen him that we had that conversation. So that was good. Now I want to see if there's anything else to do. Like, the problem is I don't know what the Citadel is. I know what a Citadel is. I'm not sure what it's referring to in this game. I don't know if it's referring to this big-ass building we're in or what. So, like, I'm kind of a little bit stuck right now. I can't tell if rolling puts out the fire in this game or not. So, we came from that... We opened that door. We went around and we opened that door. And that makes me think, oh, this big building is the Citadel. But... Alright, you know what? Screw it. Instead of just talking a lot and trying to figure it out, let's hop right back in here. Let's go back. Let's see if we can find another route in here different from the infiltrator and see if there's somewhere else to go. Because I'm not going to get anywhere by just guessing. Cool. The fire is deadly. It really is. It's, it's kind of a little bit ridiculous for what I can survive. These are the caves. We've already been there. Cool. This is just a shortcut. I am 100% positive of that because the chests were open too. I recognized it, but then we went and there were already chests open. So I am sure of that. Okay, this is going back. David agrees. I feel like the big building is the Citadel. I would think so, right? It would make sense. But I don't really understand why we beat the Infiltrator, unless the Infiltrator wasn't a main boss. Because we beat him and literally nothing seemed to happen. So this is where we came from last stream. We went back here, we got items that were in that room, and we had actually come from these steps. So I'm thinking maybe there's another path. Maybe there was, like, magic on one of the doors like they like to do, and I couldn't get somewhere, and now I can? I don't know. I'm just guessing at this point. Oh, I'll take this, though. Oh, it's locked. Okay, it's still locked. What was that, though? That was, like, a rune button. those random that these were talking about big monster near bridgers on the two they absolutely were you're right i i love that idea i am trying to think oh maybe i need to go back outside right maybe i need to go farther past the guy that was crafting good good point david that might be right i i was like yeah i don't know where that that's at but you know what maybe maybe it's back that way actually so maybe i'm being a little bit of a fool big monster i don't know the i've lowered the moderation so i don't know what that guy does so that doesn't open the chest Looks like it's placed perfectly. It's like a little... Oh. We meet again. Oh. Get out of here. Leave me alone. So that's why you're here. I still don't know how to open this yet, but... That's fine. Hey, what's up, Dan? Nice to, nice to talk to you. And vacuum detected. You're absolutely right. Good call. That vacuum is going crazy. Try to stop it from going crazy. When I'm in meetings sometimes, too. Alright. I don't know if there is, but there... I really would appreciate some fast travel in this game. I gotta be honest. I am quite tired... Of making all these journeys. 
I would appreciate some fast travel. Doesn't seem to be anything else. So find Antanas and Caslo in the Monastery Citadel. I know... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll see if I can find Ornstein and Smo, and if I can, then I'll just defeat him and get it. That's a good point. I remember, you know, I remember that's how it was in Dark Souls, so I kind of figured that was the case. I was very surprised when I found out they were in this game. But hey, they were in Code Vein too, if you remember, so they make a lot of different appearances, honestly. They also... I find it weird that they have this blocked off right now. It looks like, even that looks like, oh, it's like a boss gate. But I wish it showed me like who I had to defeat to unlock it. Because that just looks like the infiltrator <laughs> to me. That is not useful. Uh, yeah, they're in the Monastery Citadel, I think. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I will I will find them and I will take care of them. As soon as we find the Monastery Citadel, we'll be right on it. Uh, Dan asks, how do you, you doing okay? All right, nice. And you ask, how do you know you were talking to a robot via email? That is a good question. Uh, it can be tough, it depends. There are some really good chat AI and really bad ones as well. So that is a tough question. I am not an expert in that subject, but in general, uh, try and give it, try and feed it responses that should be more unique and see if it responds in a regular standardized method or way. If it does, then you know that it's not really thinking based on emotion, but rather a set of rules. Uh, that's typically what you can do. All right. so. For this, we had already gone through this area, but I'm wondering if there's anything back here that would be a monster on the bridge, right? Monster on the bridge. Monster on the bridge. I don't think there's anything back here. It looks like it just goes to a dead end. I yeah, know that's a dead end, okay. So now, the only other two places I can think of are either, one, keep going, backtrack further, which seems weird to backtrack that much, but maybe, and two is if there's anything up here, which I don't believe there was, we had been here before. But let's take a second look. That is the antechamber that we were in. And these are the steps, but they bring us here, which is where we got into the little arena area. And oh, actually that's a good point though. I might be, I might be missing something in this area. Oh, we don't have enough runes. Oh. Well, how many do you need? It's not going to tell me. <laughs> you don't have enough. Okay. Uh, can you tell me how many? Or is it just one? Can you get one rune? Huh, my computer just randomly restarted. You know what? I respect that. Windows out here living its best life, honestly. Huh, alright. Alright, so at this point... I'm get you know what? This is called the bridge between dimensions, so it's probably here. Even though we've already been here, 
I'm guessing that was my mistake, that I need to go farther. And he's gonna appear on this bridge, isn't that right? True, it did get, <laughs> it does get tired. It's like, you're not gonna keep ignoring it. All right, get over yourself. So no, this is the bridge at the start. This is gonna take me back. What is the monast... All right, you ever heard of Fear and Hunger? I've been consuming a lot of content around those games recently. No, I have not actually. Give me a second before I go out of my mind. I just wanna know, I'm not even gonna look up where to go. I'm gonna literally look up Monastery Citadel. I wanna see what it looks like. Okay, I already beat the Infiltrator, so that's not helpful. Give him a human skull. I already did that, too. I see. Oh no, Sean is lost. I, I'm not any closer either. I, no one has like a picture of the monastery citadel. So, I'm just gonna keep running back. I'm pretty positive it's not here. It's not where I'm at. Uh, all right, we'll just roll with it. We'll figure it out. Uh, they bolted the keyword, so I think they already created web store, not website by mistake on Weebly, and can't make a website. I don't know anything about that, um, but yes, it's most likely an automated email then. Oh, hold up. I need some help. For that, it is too late. I guess this place is a good place to die. What happened here? We escaped through the catacombs. There's Wait a second. path which leads to the cellar of the citadel. I did not make it. The others jumped into this open pathway. You... You were on the other side. Why? I stopped the Rogar attacks. So there's still hope. You have to tell Antanas. Maybe then he will stop doing these. What? Go... through. Catacombs. And Dallas. You. See. <laughs> Just amazing death. Okay, I think we are actually on the right way because it says traverse to the catacombs now, which is where we fought the uh, worshipper in here. Right? These are like catacombs. Catacombs are like. Like little. I don't know, they're like a little cave system. Right? I think it's where we were. We were already here in the second stream we did. I think this is... Can you get off me? I think we're going to the right spot. Now, David had said... Um, hey, guys, I get you're trying to gank me and all, but can I just leave? Thank you. Um, David said, I did Google it. It says it's past the deserter dude somewhere. So... I'm guessing we're going the right direction, like genuinely. I actually don't know. But with these new tips, I think we're good. I think we're on the right path now. Catacombs is definitely the correct way, okay. I think these are like, I think these are the catacombs. I would consider these catacombs, so I think we are good. Um, wait, the Citadel. Uh, Fear and Hunger is an RPG maker game. Oh, RPG maker game. Nice. With brutal difficulty, punishing mechanics, and cryptic design, a grassroots community has formed all about sharing secrets and tips on how to beat the game. Nice. I can respect games like that. Uh, yeah, I absolutely love that. I'll check it out. If you want, you can send me a link, but you don't have to. Just remind me. I'll gladly check it out. David, thank you for the help. Sorry that I do not know where I'm going. I'm not trying to waste a lot of time just running around randomly, but I... <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that, I guess. Okay, yeah. 
That's fair. Yeah, Git would be good for that. Um, how are you getting on with YouTube? Any series of the first C++ in real game? Uh, yeah. All the series are doing quite well. Thanks for asking. We're making good progress in all of them. Starting to get into online play, which is really, really exciting for me. I'm really happy about it. Hoping you guys are as well. Are you enjoying this game? I am enjoying the game. I'm a little bit lost right now, but I think we're... I think we're finding our way through it. The no stamina fighting. I think we're finding our way through it. I think we're we're there. David said we're definitely on the right path. I feel like I feel like we're doing pretty well. I guess I can't open that. It doesn't come up with a message or anything, but right, the layout. I feel like it is a little bit confusing, but I thought maybe I was just being stupid, which is okay, you know. <laughs> The thing is, we've already been in here, but they let us explore it earlier. I thought it was like just the side area, so I had done it, and uh, now it looks like now we're coming back after, which makes it, that's weird for me, but I think we're, I think we're almost there. So I'll stop complaining, because as long as we're making progress, I'm happy. Heavy armor, yeah, okay, look at this. Look at this sweet armor I got, okay? Excuse me, I'm just trying to get the lore. So sometimes I can... Sometimes I can pick things up when there are people around and sometimes I can't and I haven't figured out why. It's like the game doesn't want you picking things up if you're in combat, but the combat system is like, not in combat, in combat, not in combat, in combat. And it's like switching back and forth every five seconds. Right, thank you, I appreciate that. Thought we my fit went kind of hard. In the rain. All right, here we go. Now we're really getting somewhere. Thank you again for the help, guys. So I'm guessing this is maybe the monster. This isn't on a bridge or whatever, like they were saying. But this is certainly a boss. The champion. All right. All right, so we're just in the derm, the derm, in the Doom Eternal arena, I'm guessing. That's what this looks like. It reminds me of like when he's having flashbacks. All right, so he's a little bit of a brawler. I bet he's not a fan of magic. That's not what I wanted. I, I was trying to shoot you, not kick. Honestly, it's about fashionable, and you still live after getting cornered by multiple dudes without any stamina. It's true, you know what? You gotta love it. You gotta love an outfit like this. You know what? They make up for not allowing you to take off your pants in this game. A lot of circular boss arenas in this game. Yes. All the bosses look kind of similar, too. One way or another. Solid hit. All right. I need some more water. Drank it all. All gone. All right. All right. All right. Let's do this, ladies and gents. <laughs> this is the real strat. Just keep mashing right bumper. Yeah, the shields are very annoying in this game. You can kick like in Dark Souls 1, which I keep forgetting, but regardless, they're still freaking annoying. Oh, hi. 
All right, go on, champion. Oh, I'm guessing we can use that to our advantage. Quick, look for a weak pillar. Are there weak pillars anywhere? Can I make him stop? Can I make him run into something? Do you see how heavy that hit was? What about this? No, don't do that. There is a kick attack. Yes. Woo! Go! What happened to the music? I don't know. It comes and goes as it as it pleases. Sometimes it decides it will not be present. See, can can you destroy this wood? Leave me alone. I feel like he wants to. Is that just a common thing in this game? No music. Yes. This is at least the second time it's happened during a boss fight where it just goes away. Kick attack is literally this. It's hard to tell that it's a kick attack, but a lot less intense without it, yes. This is very quiet. I, like, okay, I know I've tried it twice and it hasn't seemed to work, but I don't know. Wooden door seems like you could smash that. to smash it now though and take extra damage so even though you're almost definitely right I just want him to do it now because I don't want to deal with him I thought you were going to be stunned for longer than that. He hit me with the one-two combo. It does. It certainly lets us focus on the fight more. It's a bit underwhelming. Not nearly as cool as the last one. You're right. Um, I mean, he's kind of cool. Like, I appreciate that he's a gladiator and all. And uh, I like his little weapons that he has on his hands. But he's certainly just a brute force boss. The music has entered the arena. Yeah, his attacks. Well, that was just his first form. Let's see. Let's see how these attacks go. I guess it might get better with the faces. It, it's not looking that way right now, but we will see. He 
he's always so ready to attack after hitting his head into a wall. Oh my, music, right? Perfect timing for the music. No hits after after it rams into a wall. Never. There's gotta be a faster way to attack and get away, I think. I'm making decent progress, but it's too slow. I'm gonna I'm gonna get killed first here. Oh, it looks like I don't have to dodge these. If I'm running, I can actually avoid them. Uh, do you play Skyrim? I have played Skyrim many times over. Uh, it's a fun game. I like it. So, definitely appreciate some good old Skyrim. Yeah, phase three better be one hell of a banger to make this interesting. It does look like that should be an attack opportunity, but it just isn't. His basic swings have more recovery than slamming into a wall at full speed. It's weird, isn't it? I keep falling for it. Like, I knew I was going to get punished for it, and I was still like, I got to try and attack him at this point. No, this first phase just literally doesn't have any, uh, any music, I don't think. No, it isn't supposed to have music. <laughs> and, and bruh, I don't know, fellas. It's not. It's a little quiet. All right. <laughs> oh no. Ah, it's such a slow fight. Ah. No. Okay. Can I literally just get away from it by walking left and right? Like, I just don't. Okay. Looks like it can. Okay, good. That's what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm not even gonna run, I'm just gonna walk. No. Oh, you're so close to me. Ah, okay. Come on, champion. What you got for me, big guy? Oh, that's a good point. They might have played his music with this intro cutscene. Honestly, the biggest issue with this fight is that somewhere you want to go hit him and it ends up getting you punished. No, you're absolutely right. I agree. I agree. Like, look, I want to go hit him there, too. Alright, fellas. We got the strat down. It's a slow strat, but I don't see any alternatives right now. I'm afraid to even attack him with a melee. Just dodge attacks until I get my gauntlet shot back. Okay, I could land one attack. <laughs> Sounds good, buddy. We got some time. You got some time to uh, buy a new home, move, celebrate your birthday, all sorts of stuff. Oh, see, I go in for it and now I'm punished. <sighs> Ouch. 
Right? Ugh. All right. I can definitely punish that. I don't want to get too greedy, but I could certainly always punish that if I move in for it right. Now that I know how to dodge it very easily, it shouldn't be a problem. But I do have to be careful being in front of him at all. All right, phase two. See if I can just bait him the same way or if it's a little bit different. Looks like I can just continue to walk out of the way, honestly. Music! I'm afraid, okay? I was say I almost went for it, almost punished me. I can go for a hit here if I want. Okay, that seems okay. I think I can still punish that regularly. I know it's slow, but guys, I think I'm gonna do it this way because, uh, I really don't want to get punished for actually attacking him outright and get killed. So I don't know if phase three is going to be vastly different than that, but uh, I know this method works, so. Oh. So even two hits is too much there. So you can go up to him and get like one hit in on him. And it's time to stop. What a miracle. What a miracle that there's some music. What? Only one swing for punish. Right? I got hit by the thing that time while I was walking. All of a sudden, it decides it's gonna start actually hitting me. That's not what I was hoping for. See, now I can't tell when it's going to hit me and when it's not going to hit me. Now I can actually pick away. Focus. Got to be careful because all of a sudden that is deciding to attack me. I can actually run, yes. It's just that it's it's a little inconvenient, honestly. It was better when I could just walk and dodge it. But uh so I can roll too and dodge it without too much trouble. Fellas, I really don't want to do this fight again, I have to be honest. And it's not looking too great now. I'm not sure this final phase is going to be. Uh, no, it's on. It's on A. It's not too awkward. It's a little awkward, yeah. Actually, <laughs> it's a little awkward. It's not too bad. I can do it, no problem. I can do it, no problem. It's more that I have to hold it. And I risk roll. I risk rolling, which uh, can actually make me hit that. All right, I'm gonna have to make some plays here. So guess what? We're doing it. We're gonna run. So 
See that time I got I got off easy. Damn punch. All right, we got him to the third phase. So. Woo! Oh! Oh! No! Okay, hold on. Shut off for a second, bro. <laughs> yeah. I think so. I think it's he attacks me faster because he shoots those instead of the things in the ground. Might be able to like run to him. Nope. Got punished for that one. Oh, got punished twice. Okay, good. Make sure I lose as much health as possible here so I can I can have to do this fight again. Alright, come on. No. No, okay. Uh alright, 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 alright. I might have to aggro him a little bit here because. I don't have too much more health. I'm gonna projectile him as soon as I get it. Okay, I can dodge earlier and get away with it, no problem. What is that? Okay, that was, oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I know how to dodge, I gotta dodge earlier, but I know as soon as he starts his animation for that, I can dodge get away with it. Oh, that one, that fell a little quicker. Alright, let's get with the projectile. It's so stressful, right? It's so long, such a long fight. See, I'm afraid to go in for a punish after that. Woo I need to get some extra damage in on him. Yes! Yes! That was so flawless. I'm so happy about that. Woo! See, that was fun. So he likes it when I get a little close to him like that. That's when he's, he's a little bit more cooperative with me. Oh! Okay. Okay. Forgot. Forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Okay. It's going to be close, but I think we got it. As long as I don't screw up. I could screw up, of course, but I think... I think if I do it, if I do pretty decently, we got this. Yes. Boom, baby. Get out of here, champion. Woo. Finally. GG, thank you. That's a scary one because he's just so much faster. I just didn't want to go up to him and attack him.
We beat two bosses. We beat the infiltrator and the champion. Come here. Yay, it's yes. over. Right. And we got an achievement for that one. No time for losers. Only 6.2%. 6.02%. Please. Hey. Over here. Uh, you fellas? Is that who's talking to me? Come here. Yeah, I'm here. Listen. You're looking like patches. What's that thing? <laughs> uh, it's dead. Who cares? It's dead. Antanas and Caslow are waiting for you. Hurry. This door leads to the Citadel. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, I will take that. Thank you very much. Oh, another human skull. Good. Yes. Parkour. Another human skull. Wow. Okay. I know Antanas is the other way. I just want to see if there was anything down here of importance. I don't want to go too far. I was hoping I could get like a save somewhere. Question mark. Oh, wait a second. We've been here. So this is just another shortcut we can take to get here. I walked across that board before. I know exactly where we're at. So good. Good, good, good. So we got a little shortcut here. I think it was blocked off before is what it really was. And now we are able to go past that. Uh, and then let's see what's here. Oh, this is back to... Oh, is this what the door was? The wooden... No, the wooden doors are still there. Okay. Well, never mind, but I think we saw everything here, so let's go this way. Right? You're the one I already talked to, right? Come inside. Yeah. This door leads to the city. This door leads to the city. All right, let's so take that. Can't go through that door. Could you have cleared out the, uh, the area for me? <laughs> Seems that would have been too much to ask, I guess. All right, let's see if we can get to another save point, and yes. then we'll wrap up. All right, yes. I have to confess that I've made a mistake. Yes, I've stolen something. Not out of necessity, but out of greed. I was not starving, and I was not... Dang it. It was so close. Oh, I need water. All right. We got five minutes. Let's see if we can... Uh, retrieve our souls preferably, and get to the Citadel. Rip. I have been murdered in my own home. So, the way you said it, I thought, oh, that door does apparently open. So let me just get my souls, and we'll go through the door, and we'll be golden. Here. Let me have that real quick. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. Let's go through the doors. Other conversations can just happen in the middle of combat. <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, that was like some of the lore that I picked up. But yeah, they just shut you down right away. They just put it intentionally where you get ambushed too. So that makes it enjoyable. Cool. All right, and here's our save point. So. We're gonna save, we're not gonna go any farther, but we're gonna level up real quick. So let's use some attribute points. We got two more levels. You know what, I will upgrade Faith because we actually use the magic quite a bit and it gets us more perks. So we'll go, we'll get a little bit of Faith this build. And we'll call it right there, guys, because we beat two bosses, it's three minutes before we're normally done. It's perfect time, we did great work today. Oh, that guy, yeah, 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 you know. He can confess his, confess his sins or his mistakes, and uh, I don't know who's going to read them because I, I was busy getting murdered in my own home. So, Thanks, guys, for coming. This is a fun stream. I do really like this game. Uh, I have a fun time with it, so I'm excited to do more. And, yeah, Lies of P, right? I think that's the game. Let me double check so I'm not saying some random nonsense. Uh... 
Lies of P. Yes. So we will be playing quite a few games. Quite a few games in the near future. So don't worry, we got plenty of content. But thank you all for being here. We'll be back next Wednesday, same time as always. But we might do another stream this weekend. We'll see. We have to see because I do have a busy weekend. But we might be able to finish uh, the, the bonus story of Common Flowers, which would be good if we could. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. So have a good night, everyone. And catch up with you later. Bye, guys.